Okay, let us take question number 4. Consider two straight lines each of which is tangent to both the circle x square plus y square equals half and the parabola y square equals 4 x. Let these lines intersect at the point Q. Consider the ellipse whose center is at the origin O and whose semi major axis is OQ. So, what we are doing is first we are talking about common tangents to circle and parabola then the point of intersection of those common tangents is obtained as Q. Then we are drawing an ellipse with OQ as semi major axis. If the length of the minor axis of this ellipse is root 2, then which of the following statements is are correct? Options are about eccentricity of ellipse, length of lattice rectum of ellipse and area bounded by some curve. So, first we need the equation of ellipse. Starting this question, for parabola y square equals 4 x, we can write the equation of tangent as y equals m x plus 1 by m. This line is also touching it is also touching given circle which is x square plus y square equals half. So, drop the perpendicular from center to this line and that would be equal to radius meaning that 0 minus 0 plus 1 by m divided by root 1 plus m square is equal to 1 by root 2. Squaring both sides we get 1 by m square into 1 plus m square is equal to 1 by 2. Simplify it gives us m equals plus minus 1. Therefore, tangents are y equals plus minus x plus minus 1 plus together and minus together that is y equals x plus 1 and y equals minus x minus 1. The point of intersection of these two lines it is q therefore, the coordinates for q are obtained as minus 1 comma 0. Now, it is given in the question that OQ is the semi major axis meaning that OQ length which is 1. So, this is A also given to me B as 1 by root 2. Therefore, equation of ellipse is x square plus 2 y square is equal to 1 this is the equation of required ellipse. Now, moving to the given question, first option is about eccentricity and length of lattice rectum of this ellipse. So, let us find out the eccentricity. Eccentricity is given by root 1 minus b square by a square that is 1 by 2. So, it comes 1 by root 2 and length of lattice rectum that is l r it is 2 b square by a. So, it comes 2 upon 2 into 1 that is 1. So, we can see from the given options option a is talking about eccentricity as 1 by root 2 and lattice rectum as 1 meaning it is correct. So, obviously, option b is not correct which is saying eccentricity as half and l r it is also half. Third and fourth options are talking about area of the reason bounded by the ellipse between the lines x equals 1 by root 2 to x equals 1. So, clearly we require area as twice of 1 by root 2 to 1 square root of 1 minus x square upon root 2 
dx. Just simplify to get the required area. So, it is root 2 times x by 2 root 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x under the limit 1 by root 2 to 1. Just substitute the limit to get the required answer and we observe that the correct answer for this question the area comes as 1 by 4 root 2 into pi minus 2 that is option C. So, option D is not correct. So, from the given 4 options we finally get A and C as the correct answer. Right. Now, move to the next question.